Dr. P. K. Mishra, Principal Secretary to the Honorable Prime Minister, reviewed today the situation relating to the coronavirus in the country and the arrangements for the approximately 600 evacuees. National Secretary Advisor Shri Ajit Doval, Principal Advisor to the Prime Minister Shri P. K. Sinha, Cabinet Secretary Shri Rajiv Gaba, Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat and Secretaries of the other relevant ministries were also present. On the directions of the Honourable Prime Minister, a high-level group of ministers is constituted comprising of Dr. Harsh Vardhan, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Shri Hardeep S. Puri, Minister of Civil Aviation, Dr. S. Jay Shankar, External Affairs Minister, Shri G. Kishan Reddy, Minister of State for Home, Shri Ashwini Kumar Chaube, Minister of State, Health and Family Welfare, and Shri Mansuk Lal Mandavia, Minister of State in Charge, Shipping, to review, monitor, and evaluate the preparedness regarding management of novel coronavirus in the country. The first meeting of group of ministers was held today at Nirman Bhavan. It was chaired by Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harshvardhan. A presentation on the status of the coronavirus was made to the group of ministers. The members were also apprised of the three cases reported from Kerala, one of which was confirmed today. The preventive steps and measures taken for management of novel coronavirus disease in India were presented, which included information about the revised travel advisories issued yesterday regarding the temporary suspension of the e-visa facilities. Travel, travel advisory has been revised informing the public to refrain from travel to China and that anyone with travel history of China since 15th January 2020 and from now on could be quarantined. Further, e-visa facility for Chinese passport holders has been temporarily suspended. E-visa already issued to Chinese nationals is also not valid temporarily and the facility for submitting the application online for the physical visa for China is suspended. It has been advised that people having compelling reasons to visit India should contact the Indian Embassy in Beijing or consulate in Shanghai or Guangzhou. Instructions to comply with above travel advisory has been issued to all national and international airlines operating from China by the Ministry of Civil Aviation. The group of ministers was also informed about the two quarantine centers having 645 persons evacuated from Wuhan. The camps are being maintained by armed forces and ITBP. All inhabitants are medically examined on a daily basis. In addition, they were also briefed that as of today, a total of 593 flights have been screened, covering a total of 72,353 passengers. Screening of passengers is ongoing in 21 airports, international seaports and border crossing, particularly with Nepal. Universal screening in all flights from Singapore and Thailand besides Hong Kong and China is being done. The preparedness and actions are being reviewed at the highest level every day by the Union Health Minister and the Cabinet Secretary in addition to Secretary Health and Family Welfare. A 24 into 7 control room 
is operational and its number is 011-239-78046. I repeat, 011-239-78046.